Hey guys, we're back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and paint the dash pieces and attempt to make a paint booth for the Bronco. All right, let's get it. All right, for right now, I'm just going over it with the degreaser and the tack rag just to get any oils and anything that may mess up the paint. I'll just get it ready. All right, guys, so the boss man wanted to go ahead and paint the dash pieces, but went a little bit too heavy with the paint. And we had a little bit of a problem. So now as you guys can see, he started laying really, really heavy coats and some of the paint started to run. Watch out. That doesn't kill anyway. I don't know why I picked that. Let's see, you gotta run. Too much? Yep. Yeah. Alright, guys, so this is the best way he knew how to fix it. <laughs> but um, with the little bit of time that we had, so we went ahead and painted it ourselves. I put some of that uh, reducer in the uh, that one of those bottles. Okay. Do you think it was they could have called? Yeah, yeah, I know. Didn't do no tack coat or nothing. Just went for it, but we had to go ahead and. Fix it the best way we could. All right, guys, we already went ahead and did some coats on the dash pieces and got got it looking good now. Mm, you see, now that's better. See, this is the retry, bro. I have to get nothing from here. Oh, okay. Don't need more. Next coat, and I think. It don't look purple till you get it in the sun, man. Whoa. That's what I wanted to see. I needed to see something done. How you can see it with the with the light. Yeah, watch how much dust you make in here. Stop admiring your work, or I'm going to cut your pay to a half a day. Okay. I put this together so we can see what it looked like, right? And there's no orange peel, absolutely nothing on it. And I had one run, so I razor bladed it flat. Then I took uh, a a. Uh, 3,000 grit, mm. and I sanded it with 3,000, the whole thing. Then I took 1,500, then I went to the rubbing compound, the polishing compound, and the swirl remover. And I used the whole system that I bought, and it worked absolutely perfect. All right, guys, so made a spray booth, but we're gonna change it up a little bit, move it over here with clear plastic. Yeah. Let's get it going. <laughs> so We'll get this tarp out of the way. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. It's too blue. I can't get lighting yeah, in it. Really dark. I'm worried about uh, a flash fire. 
So I don't want to do any of that stuff. Top fit, uh, no, and I'm just kind of grunt grouchy today. I don't know why. This man, try to use this. Somebody pissed in his freaking Cheerios. This. <laughs> <laughs> We're just coming to get the paper from the Bronco. Look at this old thing, man. This might be the next project, though. You don't want it to be the next project, bro. Wait, did he say this one or that one? 30K? Yeah, just take this, I'm bro. just playing, I'm just playing. This is the boss, man. 5.0. Didn't he say some tape, too? Huh? Did he not say tape? <laughs> bro, why are you looking at me like that? Got it all. Our boss is in there getting the next like, spray booth or we're making our own. The other one was a foul. It was too dark. Like this guy over here. <laughs> Almost done for the most part. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys when it's done. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes the video for today. But in the next video, you'll for sure see us paint the Bronco. But man, for tonight, it's time to go Mimi's. <laughs>